Good morning, Bill. Hi, Liz. So the people in Bellingham, they all like to create art in very different ways, but despite the mediums that they use to create this art, it's all about neighbors and friends keeping in contact and supporting one another. On State Street, the Welcome to Bellingham sign is, is pretty famous. You know, if you don't go past that, you didn't come to Bellingham. Marvin Riggs and his wife own Zazen Salon Spa in Bellingham, a place where many hair artists create their form of art. Well, the salon has been here for several years and it has a great reputation. And we knew that when we took over and we just wanted to continue that, add to it. And uh, we didn't want to do anything drastic or crazy because it has a good following as it is. When the couple took over at the beginning of the year, they didn't change the name and they didn't change the art on their walls either. Peter James has phenomenal work all across Whatcom County, extremely popular. He does um, artwork that you don't just see everywhere. So it's kind of special and we feel like it belongs to Bellingham. The Michigan born photographer spent many years traveling the country in search of the perfect place to inspire him personally. You can walk down the street in Bellingham and smile at people and they will smile back. You can start a chat with someone in the checkout line. The cashier is going to ask you, oh, do you have plans for your weekend? And really care. And inspire him professionally, too. Well, Bellingham is a very art-friendly community. We have two different art walks. There's the downtown art walk that's the first Friday of every month. And there's the Fairhaven art walk now, which is the fourth Friday of every month. So it's a great opportunity to get out and see local art and meet local artists. It's a social event and it's also a cultural event. Peter James prides himself on showing off the colorful part of a stereotypical gray Pacific Northwest environment. His metal prints represent a new art medium that infuses dyes directly into specially coated aluminum sheets. For years, his photography studio has served as a downtown art walk venue. Later this month, his business will relocate to a different part of Bellingham and will become a venue for the ever-growing Fairhaven Walk. So what better place to put a nature photography gallery than some place that is celebrating the spirit of the Pacific Northwest, nature and wilderness? Fairhaven encompasses the growing part of Bellingham that still maintains its strong artistic footprint. The building itself is art with an orca seen crashing through the corner of it, but it's the art of human connection that makes this place special. Bellingham is an amazing community of people and businesses and everyone seems to want to work together and be collaborative. It's not that competitive vibe like you have in some cities. It's people that want to share connections, share relationships, share experiences. And that's one of the things that I really value most about living in this community. It definitely gives you a sense of connection. You know, Peter James, you'll see him at the grocery store. You know, he's a local here, he's from here, and everybody knows his name, everybody knows his work. So it was a no brainer to keep the art here. A picture says a thousand words. It definitely does say a thousand words and it's crazy how small Bellingham actually is. You know, we're staying at the Hotel Bellwether and when I walked in, I noticed there was a Peter James photo there and I actually talked with the general manager and he said, we're at, we're teaming up with